morning everyone this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills well another day and another garden harvest it's that time of year obviously so uh, today I picked up more beans and quite a few of my little great tomatoes they're as prolific as the beans <laughs> so let's put it that way so the cherry tomatoes and the beans produce quite a bit every single year um, I also harvested a couple of acorn squash and I have that beautiful little pumpkin that was given to me by the other gardener. So I've got um, a fair bit of uh, preserving to do. Uh, I've decided that the uh, acorn squash and the pumpkin can, can wait. They can certainly uh, withstand being uh, uh, not processed for a while. Uh, they'll keep. But my beans and my tomatoes, um, well, the grape tomatoes, will, they're, they're pretty firm. They'll keep for a while as well. So we have as many salads as we can eat on a daily basis. That's what we're doing with them. But I have, dis and I have roasted them in the past, and they're awesome roasted. And this time, though, I think I'm going to try pickling some of those little grape tomatoes. And so I'll probably do uh, a few pint jars of pickled tomatoes. Okay, here we go. And just to show you, I'll take a few pictures of the uh, the harvest. Okay, so that is what I have uh, with respect to deal with today. So as I said, I'm not going to do anything with the little pumpkin or the acorn squash. They can be dealt with another time. They could probably <laughs> probably don't have to do much of anything with them for a while and uh, maybe it will eat those fresh. But these cherry, these grape tomatoes won't keep forever and neither will the beans. So uh, the beans I'm going to continue to blanch and freeze, blanch and freeze, blanch and freeze. Now that is not the same quantity that I've got last time of the beans. So they are starting to lessen a bit. I'm still hoping to get uh, more of a harvest. <laughs> I'll take everything I can get. But these cherry tomatoes, yes, there's only so many that we can eat. I think I'm going to go back to the garden and get some basil and pickle them with some basil. Okay. Well, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes. And I mean, we have these for salads almost every day, uh, but you can't eat them all. And uh, this basket was the last pick. And I gave half of them to one of the other gardeners, <laughs> and he gave me some potatoes. So that, that sort of thing does happen. Uh, this was today's beans, and as you can see, they're getting fewer and far, you know, less and less each time, but that's okay. I've got more than I know what to do with at this point, although my daughter will take every one, every packet I made. Um, also picked my first... Um, I guess I could call these sandwich type tomatoes and we're going to use them in a sandwich today. Uh, Mark has an event that he wants us to go to and I suggested that uh, we have a quick bite before we go, perhaps a bacon and tomato sandwich and he thought that sounded wonderful. So I picked fresh tomatoes for his sandwich for tonight. So I think with some of these tomatoes certainly we're not going to be able to eat them all fresh and there's still more on the vines. So I think I'm going to try pickling some and perhaps just putting, washing some and putting them in freezer bags and freezing them or, or freezing them solid and then vacuum sealing after they become hard the way I do with other things. So here we go. Obviously the first step is to wash and I will wash as many of these as I think I'm going to I have no idea how many I'm going to can, but I'll wash a whole bunch of them. Okay, for my brine, I'm going to use two cups of water. Two cups of pickling vinegar. So that's a 50% ratio water to vinegar. Not quite enough there. Okay. 
Yes, better. One tablespoon of sea salt, or any good quality non-iodized salt. And one third cup of sugar. Better put some back. All right, so one third cup of sugar. And we'll put this brine on to boil now while I continue to wash the tomatoes and prepare some jars. I'm going to use half bite jars to pickle these little tomatoes um, because I would probably like to use them, you know, when I open the jar, use the whole jar rather than keeping a half of one in the refrigerator. I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. So that is the route I'm going to take, and I've got a lot of these jars anyway. Might as well put them to use. So now, Okay, I have determined that there's no way I'm going to pickle all these tomatoes. Quite a number of them will probably just be frozen. So I'm going to start off with, oh, probably about seven little jars, and yeah, the rest will be frozen. And if I like the way they turn out, I have plenty of time to make a whole bunch more. So, uh, tomato and basil are a very nice combination. And I have some basil that I grew last year and dried myself. So I'll put a small amount of basil in each jar, as well as one clove of garlic. Okay, I have added... My garlic was fairly large, so I, it wasn't exactly one clove, but it is the equivalent of... Uh, a reasonable uh, clove of garlic, not an overly large one. And I have checked my measuring spoons, and yeah, one quarter teaspoon of this is adequate. This, That is all I'm adding. The brine does have salt, so there will be a little bit of salt in each one of these with the brine. Now, I'm going to pick the smaller tomatoes, and I've taken a skewer let me just make sure that the camera catches this. I've taken a skewer and I'm going to skewer right through the center of each tomato. Now others say just, you know, do a, a pinprick at the top or something, but I think just skewering right through will allow the brine to uh, mix, to actually get in, get inside the tomato. And that's what we want because I'm trying to pick the smaller ones because these are also small jars. The larger ones, I'm, as I say, I can put on. Ouch! I can freeze. We don't want my blood. Okay, I am suit. I washed my hands and I'm suitably bandaged so that I will not add an extra ingredient in these pickled tomatoes that we don't want in it. So keep your fingers out of the way, Tony. Okay, yes, the skewer is sharp, but that's what you want to make the job easy. Now, it looks like I'm getting a substantial amount of tomatoes in each jar, so I was a little worried that we wouldn't really be getting too many of these tomatoes processed, and I've got so many of them. But it looks fine. Okay, and perhaps one more there. Let's see. Um, one more again. Another small one. Okay, so I've got one jar full. Okay, I have prepared seven lids. I've got my vinegar here that I'm going to use to clean the rims of each jar. Okay, so my brine to one quarter inch, or sorry, yeah, half an inch head space. That looks good. And clean the rim. A new lid, and a ring. So, 
This is ready for water bath processing and that looks really pretty. I like the way that looks. So this will be water bath processed for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to get all of these seven jars done and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we have completed the seven little jars and they uh, actually look lovely. Um, so I have taken my what I use as a water bath canner and I have uh, a plate at the bottom and these seven jars will fit in just perfectly in this uh, pot as you can see I'm going to see if I can show you that so we have seven in there I'm going to fill that up with water uh, covering it at least an inch and then we're going to water bath can this after it boils for 10 minutes. Okay? Okay, I'm also going to pour the leftover vinegar in my water bath canner. Okay, and as you can see, I still have a ton of tomatoes left, plus what's in the basket, plus what's still on my vines. So, this lot, I'm going to freeze. And I'm going to do the same way I did the beans, as I'm going to put them on a tray. And when they get really good and hard, then I'll probably vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer. That way, they still retain their shape. So, and yes, they're still firm, and yes, they'll probably last a few more days, uh, maybe even longer than that, a week or so. Um, unfortunately, there's just so many of them right now that if I don't do something with them, they will go to waste. So, Okay, so I'm just waiting for these to cool now. They've come out of the water bath canner. They were water bath canned for 10 minutes. And uh, if I've never mentioned it in the past, after everything is cooled, the next day you take the rings off. And if everything has sealed nicely, you can wash the jars if need be. And, uh, and most times you probably should give them a good wipe down. And uh, once you've taken the rings off, wash your rings, put them away to reuse them. And if jar has not sealed, you can either reprocess it a second time or put it in the fridge and use it immediately. So that is it for my um, pickled grape tomatoes. Well, okay, there's another canning job completed. Uh, some more product for my pantry. Uh, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.